questions. Well, I, I just want to uh, congratulate Ferris State. I, I thought they played uh, a, a real gritty, uh, good game. And, uh, you know, when you don't score, you're not going to win many hockey games. And uh, I, I just thought they did a real good job of not letting us uh, really get anything going in the offensive zone. They did a great job killing penalties. Uh, a few chances we had. I thought Darren Smith played excellent. But uh, having said that, I'm just, I just really want to thank our, our seniors and you know, five years ago, we, we won four games. The year before, it's like five games. So they, they've done a, a great job bringing this program forward. And um, it's going to be hard not to see them like next year. But they, they've done an outstanding job. They brought this program back into the, the national picture. And uh, even though we didn't get the result we wanted tonight, um, I'm just real proud of them. And I just want to wish uh, Ferris State and uh, Minnesota State good luck. Uh, whichever team goes on to represent our league will do a, a good job in the NCAA tournament. Questions? Well, um, you've been scoring at quite a clip in the last two games. What was different tonight? Well, they, they, they make it tough uh, in their zone. I mean, they, you know, and we knew they would. I mean, they, they get a lot of guys back. They don't give you many odd number rushes, so it's really hard. You have to, you have to grind it out. And I, I just didn't think we did a real good job playing a gritty game tonight. There wasn't a lot of ice. There wasn't a lot of time. And, um, you know, in, in games previous, I think the, the games were more up and down, a lot more flow. And, um, you know, I think we were better in those games. You know, having said that, it's, it's a break or a bounce or a shot here or there. And uh, the hockey can be a cruel game sometimes. And I thought tonight was a cruel game. Uh, I thought our, our guys played hard. Um, but Ferris did a great job. Face-off plays uh, the last couple of weeks have been um, an issue for you guys in your own end. This one wasn't right off a of face-off, but it was pretty close to one. Um, you know, but what's been going on in your own end there a little bit at times? We are okay on faceoffs tonight. I think they have one or two decent looks on it. And, but even that play, it was a 50-50 you know, puck on the wall. You know, Reed Strauss was doing a pretty good job, and we just overskated the puck, and it goes down in the corner. And, and their guy makes a great play. I mean, he found that guy high in the in the offensive zone. It was a good shot. So it wasn't per se off a faceoff play. It was just a, you know, a break, a bounce. And, 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 you know, they made a good play. It's a good shot and redirected off somebody and gets in our net. So, um uh, but we, we've been fine on face-offs. Keep going, Daver. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Cliff, um, talk about the penalty kill. Um, you know, you guys killed off five penalties. Granted, you were in the box for one of them. But talk about, uh, you know, what it is that you guys do effectively for penalty kill. Uh, I think it all starts with Jamie. Jamie commands it back there. You know, he's seeing Pox and, and doing well, and then it goes up to the defense where they're doing a good job of boxing out and, and seeing Pox and, and then the forwards up top, they're, they're getting in front of shots. So I think we do some good shot blocking. We're in passing lanes a lot, and uh, I think that's the key to our success. When we get the chance, we get it down the ice. So. Is there a sense with those penalty kills that maybe you can take that momentum a little forward? And yeah, it was a tough game for momentum. I mean, there's lots of special teams going on. We we did take a penalty. There'd be a power play, and we'd get a penalty again. And and when you do that, it's hard to you know keep the momentum, keep the lines rolling. And, and that's when we're good. We're good when we can play all of our lines and and roll everyone and and you know get everyone in the game. Hey, Mike. How are you? Uh, were you surprised the penalty was not called when that was pushed off the moorings? Uh, no comment. Yeah, I mean, you watch a vid you watch a replay. I'm I'm just gonna leave it at that. Coach, uh, and, and let me say that I mean that one play doesn't win or loses the game, you know. But yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Can you comment on Jamie's play tonight? Because he came up with a couple of really big things, especially on Mayhew, more than once there on. on where he kind of got loose. Most outstanding. I thought that might have been the best game he's played all year for us. I mean, he gave us a chance to win. He really did. He, you know, stopped a couple breakaways, obviously, in the second and um, some good looks. But uh, he was on his game tonight. I mean, he didn't really give many second chances. And he's it's going to be a hard guy to replace for us. He had an outstanding career here. I believe he's, he probably won more games than any goalie over the, the course of the last two years, which is a great testament uh, to him. And, uh, no, he was outstanding. Yeah, he competes. He competes. I think that's the biggest thing that he's really improved on over the four years is his competition, not only 
in games but in practice and you know he's had to push himself a little bit there but I just thought he saw the puck well tonight he was just you know pretty calm and collective and those are a couple things when you can tell he's calm and, and when he's competing I know that can be an oxymoron sometimes but but he just seemed to see everything well and handle everything well tonight <laughs> What's the communication like between you and Jamie, um, you know, throughout the game, especially in a game like this where, you know, he is making such big saves and, and really, you know, helping you guys out? <clears throat> I mean, Jamie back there, he's worked on that his whole career. I know he's, you know, when I first got here, he didn't hear much back there. And, and then this year, it's completely different. He's always talking to the guys. Uh, um, block a shot in front, he's up for you back there. Or uh, if he's out to get a puck, you know, we're able to communicate that way. And he's able to make some good plays. Uh, I don't know if you noticed tonight, but he made a, a few good puck passes and around the walls. So that's something he's really worked on a lot. And, and uh, he's got better at that. Well, is it difficult to have? Extremely, extremely. Uh, you know, I think the quality of the teams you see here really says a lot about the league. I, I just ran into Coach Daniels and Athletic Director Perk there, and we talked about that and how you know disappointing it is. And um, I'd, I'd, I'd invite any team to come and play in this league. You know, have to go up to Fairbanks and then come home and play Bemidji State and, and then go into Big Rapids and play them and then go over to Minnesota State and play. You know, it, it's just unfortunate that, the, you know, we knew going in what we needed to do. So, you know, we've had a, you know, a really good year, great year. You know, nine losses is one of the fewest losses we've had in maybe 30 some years I mean it's been a long time and and I you know I think we're a decent hockey team but yeah for this league no doubt about it this this league for you know we just stubbed our foot a little bit I, I made the comment on a non-conference games which is unfortunate but uh, it's a healthy league uh, there's great coaches in this league uh, there's outstanding players and uh, like I said I'd invite everybody anybody to come over and have to play in our league for a whole year and, and see what it's all about no what does it mean to you that you have to have this conversation about the NCAA. I mean, five years ago when you were hired, Tech wasn't even in the discussion. Now here we are, the 20, 21 win season, and we're talking about it, even though you're not there, but you're- 23, Dave. Sorry, 23, yes, sorry. But the fact that it's, uh, you know, you're, you're, in this, you're in the discussion. Well, that's great. And, and when you have good players, that's what you get. We've, we've had outstanding players. So I've got one sitting next to me, you know, a junior captain. But our senior class is, you know, they've, they've raised the bar high. And, you know, we, we talk about our next group of seniors. It's it's higher for them. So you want to leave the uh, the program in better shape than when you found it. And our, our last couple groups have really done a good job. So I'm not surprised. When you when you recruit quality people and good hockey players, good things can happen. And it has. And, and, you know, it's hard to talk about next year already, but I, I'm looking forward to it. Anything else? All right. Thank you, gentlemen. We appreciate Thanks, it. Everybody.